Okay, after you get your cases sized, you have to check in all reloading data there's an overall case length. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to exceed that. In other words, the overall length of the case. This way. And usually I measure it with a set of calipers. Okay. Now you find out in your reloading data or some data where, wherever it is and you figure out what it should be. And on this, this is the uh, 8x50 rim. And I measure it and it's 1 inch 990 thousandths. I believe the correct thing is 1 inch 180 thousandths. So they're a tad bit long. So I'm going to try to trim them back, and uh, or maybe it was one inch nine hundred ninety thousandths. I'm not quite sure, but you can go back about five ten thousandths, and it'd be all right. Because what happens is every time you fire the brass, brass is elastic, it'll stretch out. And what happens is if this is too long and you chamber it, the end of your case starts getting into where the bullet, the part of the it goes past the chamber and wedges in to where the forcing cone or the bullet is and can increase pressure. So, I have a Lyman Universal Case Trimmer. There's several different types you can use that companies make. There's, we make some little thing that's set that trims it right to the right length. Um, and you're going to need a deburr tool of some sort. This is an internal external deburring tool. You can get them. You can also buy a set that has these types of deburring tools on a handle, different sizes, so you can cover all different calibers. This one here, usually the universal one, covers just about everything that you need, and I'll show you how to use that when we're done. So this is the Lyman Universal Case Trimmer, and the thing about it is you'll have to buy a pilot for all the different calibers. The pilot goes in here, here's the cutter, your adjustment, and your universal head. Now if you look at that universal head, you see there's like a ball bearing inside there, and then them little wedges get around the base of the case. And that ball bearing goes into an empty primer pocket, grabs on like this, and keeps it centered. So, that's how you're going to put it in a collar and clamp it down. So the first thing you do is you select the right and then you're going to need the cutting end, you're going to need a pilot. And what the pilot does is it's the same size to ride in here and hold that case steady while you're cutting it so that way it don't wobble. And there's a little tiny set screw up in the front of that cutter. And there's a hole that you slide this pilot in. Get that pilot in there. Take an Allen wrench and tighten it down. All right. Take your case, place it in here. A little tricky. Get it up underneath those two little things on the ball bearing, kind of center. Then you turn this and it tightens it in. Now what you would do is, you want to try to keep all your cases uniform. So how this works is, there's two set screws in this adjustment end. There's a set screw here, there's a little collar here, and this rides against the actual body. So what you would do is keep this loose, slide this in to the case, get it lined up. Okay, that's the long case. And go in like that. And then with this loose, and make sure this is pushed out forward a ways. It's threaded in there, and that's going to be your adjustment. So you'd have this loose, this you know, out fed out a ways on the threads. Slide it up to the long or the long end of the case. Then tighten 
this back nut down here. Okay, you tighten this down to the shaft. Then this will ride up against the body and when you turn it in, you take a cut like this. Okay, and then take the case out. Measure it. See, it's a little, still a little high. So what you'd want to do is then back this in, okay? While it's still loose, retighten it, tighten it down. You know, take a little bit of a turn and then see how much it cuts off. And then get your case back in there. Okay, tighten it down. Um, I already have this adjusted, but I'm just giving you an example. You turn this backwards and allow it to go in. And a lot of this too is feel and pressure. The harder you press on this, the more it's going to cut off. So you've got to be careful. Alright. And once you make your adjustments, lock down all the set screws. Just cutting the brass right to where I want it. It's all uniformed or all uniform. Okay, now once you've got the case trimmed, you see there's a sharp edge here and inside where you trimmed it. This pointed end here goes internally, and you just turn it by hand, and it deburs and cuts a nice little chamfer. Then this goes on the outside of the case. And takes that little sharp edge off. Check it and look. Now you got a case to the right size, deburred and ready to get primed and reloaded.